And well, Tam Avenue in Dogtown is a sea of green today. <laughs> That's right, the Irish neighborhood opening their arms to thousands celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Five on your side's Tracy Henson spoke to a lot of people excited to be back. And Tracy, I see you found the dogs. <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> yeah. I did because the party is wrapping up and now it's going to the dogs. Now, earlier today, it was just a really big party. Let me show you a view from the parade. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody, Dogtown, USA! The Irish spirit is alive and well in Dogtown after a couple canceled years due to COVID. We are so happy. Yeah, we've been waiting for it for two years now, so we are so glad it's back. The sun shined over Dogtown as Irish dancers tapped down Tam and Irish wolfhounds wagged for their admiring fans. <laughs> And there were lots of fans. Check out this view from Skylands 5. The St. Patrick's Day crowd a couple rows deep and the parade a couple miles long. Emily had a great spot and her favorite part? Catching the candy and the beads. And it, wow, look at how many beads you've gotten. Are those all from the parade? Yes. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Spirits were high, but not only for parade goers. Members of the band Rusty Nail were thrilled to actually get to perform. We uh, were supposed to play in 2019 and obviously we've been waiting two years to play. We wanted to do this and we wanted to play a bunch of things that have been canceled so it's exciting that we finally get to do it. And it was a great day for local businesses like Heavy Riff Brewing. Feels great, feels great. A little busy, uh, much busier than we expected but uh, I think people made up for some lost time. Now the businesses on Tam Avenue do close at 8 and from Dogtown Happy St. Patrick's Day! <laughs> Back to you guys. She's having too much fun. She has a lot of fun out there. <laughs>